Bagaria ji, resource person, AACT, NCCIP a member. Shri Rajul Astana ji, co-facilitator, AACT, NCCIP, vice chairman. Dr. Kumar Shambhav ji, co-facilitator, director, UPID Noida. Shri Umesh Jadav ji, co-facilitator, AACT, NCCIP member. Mr. A. Deepesh ji, observer, AACT, NCC member, SWR. Nirarum kadaludutta nilal madanda kediludugum Sirarum vadana mena tigar barada kanda midil Tekkenamum madisirenda dravidanal tirinadum Takasir pirinudalum daritanarum tilagamumi அத்திலக வாசனை போல் அனைத்துலகும் இன்பமுர எத்தி செய்யும் புகழ் மனக்க இருந்த பெரும் தமிழனங்கே தமிழனங்கே உன் சீரிலமை திரம்பி இந்து செயல் மறந்து வாழ்துதுமே 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 Good morning to one and all present here. A warm welcome to all of you on behalf of SRM Institute of Science and Technology and also from Director of Research, all the dignitaries present on the dais, of the dais, as well as the dear participants. I think they are going to organize eight days program for universal human values. I think already Dr. Supraja mentioned this is one of the first such program. I would like to thank as well as congratulate uh, Dr. Supraja who is spending a lot of time for the betterment of others. I remember seven, eight years before she came to me, she, uh, she was asked to do many works like that. She was unable to do research, focus on research. Now it is totally reversed. So she has been spending all her time for development of others. It is very, very important. We have to find a person like her. So I ask, uh, request all of you to give a big round of applause to her. Because we are running out of time all the time, even we never had a time to think about others, right? This is the way we have been you know, working. So, as each and every one of us, I just read about this something. I don't want to miss it. I can talk about human values hours together, sing. So, what I have been observing, we are using the people and love the gadget. This is uh, whenever you meet people, Immediately, we'll see how can I use that person, right? So, this is a society. This is a country 15,000 years before cultivation started. This is southern part of India. And peace is a living reality. It is not rest in peace. So, now you come to the stage to talk about the human values. So, this is a country which, you know, where spirituality and human value, we taught to the rest of the world. So, now you are again looking back because we lost our culture and everything because of the continuous invasion, we forget all the human values. So now it is time to take back and then see, uh, you should be proud of our country. If you are not at all proud of your country, then it is difficult to be here. Okay, if anybody, all, the, all of you get you know, visa to America, everybody wanted to go there, right? They forget everything because they don't know about India as well as I just know, uh, before I talk to Sri Ganesh, Bagaria about that solar kingdom. I think you know solar. He went up to South Korea for the trade. So you know the Angkor Wat, right? The temple was constructed by Tamil king. They went to up to that place as a huge trade. But we never read all these things in our books. We know what is a Pani Padpur, first one, second one, third. Still, I remember the names and everything. So we are very proud of became slavery. Still the slavery is with us. Even the left is 75 years before. So we are very good slaves, enslaved to this such, such a thing. So this is the right time to you know, take, well, even after 75 years, nobody bothered about these things. This is the pathetic of this society. Uh, so this is, uh, you know, I think this type of program will help the people to realize and know what is the human value. At the end of the day, when you die, you don't know. You know? Judgment day, you will come to know what is given to you, what you are going to do. Okay. But well, you cannot take even single atom with you. So this kind of program definitely helps you to understand 
what is a human value i think any all of you at one point of time realize what is the purpose of our existence and purpose of our desire i think being indian it is very common thought where we came from where we are going without that you, most of us we cannot exist because the belief system if i after no after my death i'll go to the heaven okay such a belief system it gives confidence so confidence without clarity leads to disaster i can cross the gsc road by saying shiva one time i make it next time you will come and take you to the huh <laughs> yes, that is that's what i want to tell so that's the purpose of life is very very important so without knowing we cannot live so that is ultimate that's what we never thought about any god this culture if you live full potentially if you live full potentially that it uh, no automatically will take you to the ultimate even if we try you know drink a cup, cup of water when you are thirst you can realize who is the creator if you see the beautiful whatever it is people are missing you can see here the students also all the time they are listening something and watching something if they don't do something they sleep they know how to do sit without doing anything how the brain gets rejuvenation so this is a country where we talk about the human value that is ultimate thing if you see 99.999 is empty and 0.00000 one is the matters so we are focusing 0.00001 which is almost negligible so if we focus 99.9 which is emptiness then the material aspect of you no know, life will be well taken care of. so we are missing all these things because this is a country where the spend generation to together to know what is a human value where we came from where we are going everything they told me about these things but we have no time to even so no read or understand our culture it is a very 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 rich culture okay the Ma- mathwan from us he told about india by the human as well as the god whatever maximum one can do already they have done in this on this earth so the unseeing layer of spirituality already within this year which holds a country from kashmir to kanyakumari otherwise this country will be disintegrated into small pieces like europe and then the tamil nadu will be disintegrated into castaways so because of the unseen layer of spirituality people from rameswaram go to the kashi we have the two uh, towns called sivagasi and then kashi but kashi is there 2000 km away there is a connection right people from kashi they go to rameswaram like that we are going elsewhere because of that spiritual connectivity if you lose it spiritual means different from religious religious means it's fixed here we don't want because you know other countries they lived like barbarian that's the reason religious came into picture at least they bend down something is bigger than human for that here we have god as a stepping stone for the ultimate so if you pay attention for that the moment you realize everything in same energy vibrating in different masses e is equal to mc squared e is equal to we call energy or e square so the moment you realize a same energy vibrating in different masses everything whatever you are seeing you cannot separate what ever see there is a creation that means what does it mean creator wherever you see the creation the creator is there you cannot discriminate by the name of religious greed or something like that the moment i am saying i say myself i am man i am deviating from the nature i am saying tamil person again deviating from nature indian again deviating because this nature is given as a full freedom for animals the two layers are fixed top and bottom layer they cannot do anything whatever they want for us the bottom line is fixed the top line is not there you want to be god yes you want to be a thief anything you want you can be like that but we don't know we suffer out of 
freedom not for bondage because we don't know how to use the freedom for the next even many religions told this is a bridge if you cross it please cross it otherwise don't try to stick on the stay and construct on the bridges so you will come to know at the end of the day what type of life is given to us whatever you do then if you go to farmer he is working for getting 100 buffaloes maybe here 100 bens car i may need nobel prize but according to nature there is no difference between the ambani as well as the rickshaw wala everybody is seeking for the something so something which in us is called the boundless something which is boundless it is non physical which is non physical we cannot touch the dimension which is non physical the moment you will be non physical you able to touch the dimension so once you come to know this dimension then there is no talk about don't disturb others because you come to know same energy vibrating in different masses then you will not disturb okay so stress is not the out of reach is a part of our day to day process being human being we came here to live happily without accumulating when i was young i always thinking why this kind of discrimination same house one one person is you know, living with the stress and same house his brother is unable to walk and one house poor you no know, poor poorest people next house richest people i really wanted to know who is the creator i wanted to kill that man it was my thought when i was 7 years i used to get headache whenever i want to know who is the creator and became blind also it's a kind of state then my family is atheist family you, know, you cannot see any god or goddess for that this is also belief system okay when gautama buddha was sitting like this somebody asked question he is a rama bhakta even dress everything written in rama he always utter rama 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 he had a doubt whether there is a god or not always i waste my whole life he stood at the crowd and asked buddha is there any god he looked at him and he said there is no god everybody was so happy the enlightened person clearly declared there is no god there is no account whatever i want i can do there is no sin the same day evening another meeting one sarvakar he is on always disprove there is no god and he used to earn lot of money he also had you no know, he spent lot of whole time for lifetime like that not for us i went to i used to go friday god you know i spent 10 minutes for you in case if god is there so he is not they are not such people they dedicated whole life for them the pain is very high he also stood in the corner and asked look at the gaudama asked is there any god and he looked at him i said yes there is a god is both are in the belief system okay so they, they will not go anywhere so this is a country where the seeking is the ultimate so when i had such feeling then i don't know what to do so you know later say they always talk about shiva then i started praying then that problem is vanished so i think this do you need to talk so that uh, this type of things def- definitely be helpful for the because we are missing many things we are running out of the time for targeting something so we are running those thing people are having millions of dollars having islands unable to sleep so 1% of the people having 70% of the wealth of this country if they decide today day, today there will be no poverty tomorrow so gaudama always went to the kings to change the king only if they change a the king the entire people will change right so if you able to change 1% of the people you can change the whole planet so program such like this will definitely help not only for us and also for the bureaucracy as well as the richest people i don't know they never seen the millions of dollar might be in the bank elsewhere here and there it gives confidence that i am rich and these are the people who are number one are the ruling you know they are the destroyer of the plan the comparison is dead against nature that we have been doing no coconut tree will compare with the next tree 
that it gives more yield, I am giving less yield. So the comparison is the one, was why I am having like car, next uh, person has this car, I have. So this is kind of this, you know, disease. What my capacity, according to capacity only I will get it, otherwise you will not get it. Okay, we have the one thing is intellectual, that is our brain, which is holding is your identity. If I am Indian, I, have, I can kill the Pakistan because I have to hold the identity of Indian. If I am American, I can kill anybody. That's why those days we said, when they ask identity, we said universe. The moment you take universe as identity, you cannot kill anybody. So that's the reason this place we call universe is identity. If you keep universe as identity, you will not. Otherwise, you kill. This identity is held by our memories. You have eight kind of memories. Because of that, you are stitching, uh, sitting here. Which type of memory, which holds your identity, you are like that. Whether you are doctor, engineer, whatever it is. Can I change a memory? It's very much possible. <laughs> okay. So, the, I'm slightly deviating. So, that's what I want to say all of you. This is, I thank all the resource person. I think thank you for uh, our uh, Sri Ganesh Bagaria who gave the opportunity to conduct here. Saad told me they wanted to have it in the IIT Kanpur. I think they wanted to conduct here. I think this type of, I, I had a chance to you know, uh, attend one of this management development program. It was very useful and slowly that Saad took me slowly into the another area where we never seen. Okay, very, very important. Still, we are missing those things. So, if we work from the fundamentals, so we are always working on the tree top. If you are working on the tree, tree top, it will not work. You should work from the root. If you work on the root, fruit will come out. If you are on the tree top, it will not work. The most of the politicians, they are working on the tree top only. If you look at Korea, for the for primary school teachers, are the best teachers from the best university rank holder. Okay, we are missing all these things. So I thank all these resource people for coming over here and going to spend eight days here to, for this program. I hope you will get immensely benefit out of that. So you are the volunteers. You understand volunteer, right? It's a very, very, it's not simple thing. You are going to spend your time for others. Ramana Maharishi simply told, whatever you do for others, it is not for them. It is for you. As simple as that. So again, once again, congratulate uh, Purvaja and other organizers for uh, spending the time for eight days to conduct and motivate all of you towards this one. Thank you so much for giving the opportunity. Yeah. Yes. Uh, next, it's going to be a sharing by co-explorers. Uh, I request Dr. Sweeti from Faculty of Science and Humanities to share his exploration. Good morning, everyone. I will not take much of your time. Uh, I would like to start uh, by thanking Dr. Supraja first because uh, we were getting mails continuously regarding UHV ISL and regarding attending the UHV FDPs. But she took her time out and once came to FSH and explained what UHV was all about. So initially when I started my UHV journey, I just thought of it as a FDP, which is mandated, which might help in my appraisals. So let me start it and started attending it. UHV went one. It just went like that. I got my certificate and certain things, yes, it did have an impact. Then started UHV 2. So it really did make a difference. So I will, my, I am a work in progress. So the journey is not complete. I still have my flaws and I'm still working on them. So the first thing that I realized was that I am responsible for my happiness and my content or whatever. So the happiness that you feel comes from within. Nobody else can be responsible for your happiness or your sadness. And, uh, the first thing that um, touched me most was trust as a foundation value for your family. 
uh, being parents of teenagers is very very difficult task and the first thing that i used to do was constantly check on my children without their knowledge checking their <laughs> checking their phones checking their social media accounts because i am scared of what they might get into you hear so many news regarding what might happen so as a parent i assumed that it was my job to constantly monitor them and then um, we were talking about trust okay and in one of the sharing sessions they said that it is a foundation value for all the relationships in your family and i was sadly lacking in that with my own children and um, so i just took some time out to them and i started explaining why i feel that your social media presence and your you know being online all the time or what you post i tried to explain to them what the problem was and being from a computer science background you get all kinds of you know doubts when you start sharing things online so i started discussing with them so initially of course they were not okay with it because they are in a new generation where they feel that they have to share everything online and then i started telling them and i started reducing my online presence i thought that was the best way in which i could deal with what they are going through so if i am going to be constantly on the phone constantly posting what i do online and it is not going to help so i started cutting down my time and my presence and slowly i saw that it was impacting them and i constantly kept telling them i am not going to do all this i am not going to check on you i trust you implicitly i have raised you you are now you know in a stage where i think you can make right decisions on your own and i am going to trust you implicitly so always before you do something think about what will amma think when something goes wrong or how will i say about this to amma okay anything that you feel that you cannot share with me then i think that it is certainly wrong and if i am doing something that i cannot share with you then i think that i am being wrong in that factor and uh, slowly as a family we have definitely gone down our, our tv time online time uh, and we have started you know discussing we have brought back the habit of sitting together for dinner irrespective of wherever we are we have decided that 8:30 all of us are going to sit along with their grandparents previously it used to be different different time everyone will walk in and walk out as they please but that is a little bit of success that i have tasted and i was very very happy when on friday my daughter messaged me and said that uh, actually i am not going to go to college you know i am actually going to go for a break with my friends outside because you know i have do not have anything in the afternoon previously she never used to tell me she said i just wanted to let you know because you will be thinking that i am here and actually i am not in that place just for you to know so that is a little bit of something that i have achieved with my family the next one was with my colleagues um i used to in my imagination think that whatever you know paper publications that you do or whatever conferences that you attend or all the workshops that you attend they are going to give you a one up manship over all your colleagues and the amount of things that you do over here academically is going to increase the respect or my stature in my department or in my university level and i used to be very secretive about these things <laughs> i never used to tell them what workshops i was going to or even if i read a mail and register for something i'd never let them do that is how i did uhv1 i never even told my best friends that i was doing uhv1 <laughs> so when i got it and you know i just somewhere realized that okay this is going to be important in the future so let's do it and i didn't even tell my colleagues or the people who sit next to me and share my lunch with me every day that i am into something they all just realized even when i was doing it online listening doing the polls they were asking me what are you doing i was just an ftp <laughs> that was my response to them and uh, these days i am still a work in progress <laughs> okay so i understood that it is not actually so it is not a competition constant competition with all of them that is just in my imagination and whatever fdps are complete or of course my knowledge will definitely improve but i have stopped seeing them as a competition we are all trying to survive here we are all trying to go towards the common goal which is 
you know improve the university ranking or better yourself in terms of your knowledge that you gather and they are not my competitions so these days i try not to be like that i try to share whatever information that i get which i know that it is important that is one role uh, this being selfish and thinking that this is my you know goal or this is how i'm going to improve my stature i completely understand that it is from my own imagination and that is how it is and uh, one more thing that i have already shared it in our uhv meeting as well uh, certain preconditionings that we have all right uh, like uh, this is regarding the maid that i have at my home last time when we came for uhv to supraja ma'am was sharing something that uh, to all the helpers that we have the food that we give is always the leftovers when we call them first and we give it to them uh, they are very happy because we are seeing them as at the same level as us they are similar to us so this was going on at the back of my mind and one day i just realized that the coffee that i serve to my maid and the food that i give her i give it in a separate plate which is basically very wrong as a fellow person if she is not going to come at 5:30 and do my household chores it is impossible for me to catch the bus at 6:45 and land over here at 8:30 it is impossible she is actually facilitating me she does have a family and she does come here and she is helping me to achieve my goals and i personally felt very very bad about it and from that day onwards whenever i make coffee for myself i do not give her at the last i make it for her as well because i cannot start my day without a coffee so uh, as soon as she comes in i will be having my cup and i will give it to her and i have stopped having separate plates for her and i have stopped giving her leftovers because i clearly realize that she is similar to me and she is facilitating me as a fellow human being to achieve my goals these are some areas in my life where uhv has played a very very crucial role and as i am saying i am still a work in progress and i have uh, lots to you know understand and achieve and but still as i was discussing with dr satish to in the morning i said still that anger that you know sometimes the helplessness it does come but at that point or the way you behave to your fellow people in your own department it changes but that uhv access a checkpoint don't do that you are being you know very selfish don't do that it does help to check in a lot of levels and i'm very very thankful to srmist for facilitating the uhv cell and providing us with so many opportunities to explore ourselves and of course dr supraja for helping us in the journey thank you very much thank you ma'am and now it's for a uh, guidelines of uhv 3 ftp by mr a dipesh ji i request dipesh ji to provide the guidelines of this ftp namaste to all good morning so as uh, mentioned by here i am in the role of observer and i am seeing all the faces who have uh, completed uhv introductory fdp uhv 2 and now we are come join here for participating in the uhv 3 workshop and uh, we will be knowing that this is a very intensive process to be happening for the next 8 days so few things to be mentioned here is like uh, uh i i know that need, these points need to need not be mentioned here but still since my responsibility as a role of observer few points to be mentioned is like uh, following the decorum in the hall mobile etiquettes most important and the third part is about the attendance <clears throat> so even though act says about uh, 90% criteria for fulfilling for the purpose of attendance let's take an uh, uh uh decision that we'll be here for whole 100% attendance okay so uh, i request all of you to uh consider that very seriously and be here this is for our self development rather more rather than for any certification pro- purposes so let's take it that way and uh uh even in case you wanted to go out i'll be there uh, there, there will be a movement register as in always we have in workshop face to face workshops so you can just note it down your in time and out time 
in the case of an emergencies okay so with this few words uh, other instructions uh, uh, umesh bhai and kumar bhai and all will be giving you rajul bhai also will be giving you so uh, i welcome you all once again for this eight day program let's together enjoy the sessions uh, by ganesh ji and have very fruitful session here thank you namaste okay. so now i request dr k vijayam ma'am to propose the vote of thanks uh, good morning to one and all present here uh, i hope all of you are uh, very much ready for self exploring along with our facilitators i would like to thank aacte ncc ip cell for having the opportunity given to srm ist i would also like to thank our management for giving us the facility and providing other requirements for conducting this eight day fdp and my special thanks to supraja for making it happen at srm ist and i would like to thank all the facilitators for being with us for next eight days and uh, i also like to give a special thanks to our dean research sir for uh, having a good start through his speech last but not the least all the participants here both internal and external a special thanks to all of you without your registration we will not be able to make this happen and apart from that we do have others who have helped us to conduct this indirectly like people who are going to be providing us with the snacks and food which we would be taking up so though we are making the arrangements there are people who are working for providing it to us i would also like to place my thanks to all of them and without further ado i would like to conclude because all of us are waiting to start our exploration from today for the next 8 days and have a great time here thank you a group photo session i request all to join for the group photo.